Hey guys, and welcome to the Super Gurus Podcast. I'm your host, Doug Lanada, also known as Ben, and my co host name is Finn. This week on the Super Gurus Podcast, we are chatting comic book news, also chatting upcoming comic book movies to 2020, and we're also doing our famous segment, This Week in Comics. Okay then, see you at the end. Enjoy this episode of The Super Gurus. Hey guys, it's Lego Nader from the Super Gurus podcast, and with me is my co-host Finn. Hey. On this podcast, we talk about news, content, and what we've been reading, slash watching this week. This week's content is superhero movies, and there's a hell of a lot of them. Okay, uh, let's get straight into some news. Okay, first up, Finn, do you like Mission Impossible? Oh, I love it. It's decent. Like, I mean, they're pretty good action movies, like neck-level James Bond, but like realistic as well. Yeah. So, yeah, I, like, I really like them. Well, Mission Impossible 6 production is going to start in spring 2017. Oh, okay, cool. Sounds good. So Tom Cruise is on top of that? <sighs> He's great. Yeah, he might be crazy in real life. Yeah. Uh, well, he, he does his own stunts, doesn't he? Yeah, his crazy own stunts. He hanged off a plane in the last one. Oh, I mean, well, it w- there would have been, like, safety nets and stuff. but like There I were mean... no safety nets. He was just strapped onto the plane. Oh, he gee. did it six times to get the perfect shot. <laughs> Cause he, yeah, oh gee, okay then. If a pigeon had flown into him, he would have been dead. Of course, yeah. Okay. I mean, a chicken can rip through like a ten centimeter like hot um thing of fiberglass or something, going at that velocity. Okay, well let's do. Go- Finn, don't talk about velocity on this podcast. It's about comics, not science. Uh, okay, sorry. Up. Zack Snyder tweeted for Batman Day, the first look at Gordon. Oh, yeah. Have you seen that? No, I haven't. What's it like? Uh, just imagine J.K. Simmons wearing a fedora. Fedora. Oh, I can. Okay. That's fedora. Oh, nice. And you got in a moustache. And there you go. There's Gordon. Mm. Nice. Uh, so there's not much about that. Finn, do you like yep. TV? Netflix TV? Do or you like, like Star Trek? TV? Star Trek, yeah. Do you Star like Star good. Trek and TV together? Oh, it depends. Then you'll probably like Star Trek Discovery. Uh, it's been pushed, though. It was going to be released in January, but now it's going to May. Oh, okay. They, cool. They say it's because they have to finish the special effects. Oh, okay. Hopefully they don't jazz it up too much. So what do you care about that? Well, I mean, like, if they, like, totally mess up CGI or, like, totally overdo the CGI and stuff, that'd be trash. Okay, next up, I'll save them one for later. Chadwick Boseman says we may see past Black Panthers in his solo film. That's pr- That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Well, because he's the king of the dead, right? Yeah. So maybe he has, like, this thing where he can communicate with the old other Black Panthers or whatever. Yeah. Uh, That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. I've got something now. Sure. Um, Justice League Dark is coming to New York Comic Con 2016. Justice like, League. The animated movie. Oh, okay. An animated movie. Yeah. So that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I've seen the trailer for that one. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Um, uh, d- there's a Star Wars movie slated for 2020, apparently, the CEO of Disney says, and he says that Rogue One is an uh, experiment. Experiment. Uh, so it's not going to be a like a completely in line one. Yeah. It's going to be a um spin off like Rogue One. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's what he said that during a press holders meeting, and he also said that Marvel movies are planned well past twenty twenty. That's good. That's also pretty scary, Finn. It's scary, yeah. Marvel movies forever. Yeah. <laughs> um. Next up, Finn, do you like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Don't really care too much about it, but do, why? Season 4 started and Ghost Rider was debuted. And, oh, yeah, I, I heard about that, Ghost Rider. But it didn't help the ratings. Oh, okay. 
So not much there. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, Finn, have you seen the Passengers trailer? No, I haven't. With Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt? No, I haven't, no. Okay, well, basically, um, it's about two people, and they're on a 120-year mission in cryo-freeze, but their pods yeah. get woken up 90 years early. 19? 19. 19, oh, okay. Just them, that's it. Uh, okay, so they have to live for 90 years. Yeah. But the plot's like, wh why do the pods get opened? That's it. Oh, okay. Um, so that looks pretty, it looks pretty funny. It looks a bit of a romantic drama, sci-fi. Maybe. Yeah. I don't see how uh, Chris Pratt could get Jennifer Lawrence, but I guess we'll just have to <sighs> Maybe. believe it. Um, next, Ghost in the Shell. Do you know what that is, Finn? Yeah, they just, they, well, about half a, oh, about maybe like a couple of months ago, they wrapped up filming in New Zealand here, so... Oh, tooting the New Zealand horn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so did you see the trailers? No, I haven't. Not yet. Well, they look pretty creepy. There's, like, her getting unplugged from a machine. There's a bunch of creepy monks. Oh. It all looks pretty creepy. Sounds good. Yeah, it looks a bit... So there's a couple trailers. It's like, uh, at the start, you've got... There's a guy with a gun, some mysterious man... And he shoots something. Then there's bits of her just walking through. She's plugged into a machine. There's a creepy android lady. Oh, okay. It's all pretty cool. creepy. Yeah, that's good. Uh, well, that was it for news. Not much happened this week. No, I think I'm. you've said all mine. So. Okay, then. So that's our news segment for this week. Now let's get into our main content segment. And this one's a big one. We've got a lot to talk about this week. Oh boy, we do. Okay, let's start. Ben has been Ben has been absolutely trawling through every internet forum he could find to get this list. Yep. Um, so I think that we have a lot to talk about. So let's start it off with 2016, the year we're still on. The first, the next movie coming up is Doctor Strange. If you guys okay, want to hear yeah. our opinions on that, check out last week's podcast, Everything Doctor Strange. I don't think we need to elaborate. If you guys want to hear it, check out the podcast. I think that's pretty self-explanatory, yep. Yeah. Um, so let's, okay, let's start off next year, 2017. 2017, okay. March, apparently on March the 3rd, the new Wolverine, the R Wolverine's going to come out. Yep, the one based off, apparently, Old Man Logan. So what do you think about that? What what do you what are your hopes and stuff for that? Uh well my hopes for Wolverine three is as we talked about, Mr. Sinister. I hope he's in that. Mm, yeah, Mr. Sinister would be amazing. And I think if they can pull him off. Yeah, and I think they're gonna introduce X twenty three too. Oh, okay. I think so. So some info on that is Sabretooth is returning and so is Patrick Stewart. Oh, okay. So, Sabretooth would be good. Yeah. Um, same actors? Yeah. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that's done filming now. It'd have well, to be. Oh, it probably should. It'd have to be, yeah. Yeah, so... Or, yeah, or just wrapping up, sort of. Yeah. So, guys, on this, we're just going to uh, name the movie, and then we're just going to talk about it really quick, because we've got a lot to get through. Okay. So next up is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 on May 5th. I have high hopes for this movie. I really do. Um, Me too. It the last one was undoubtedly and probably one of the best Marvel movies to to date. Yeah. And um, yeah. I just I th what who do you what who do, what do you know about the plot or the villains at the moment? Well, we know there'll be Baby Groot for a lot of it. Uh, not necessarily. Uh, we know that because uh, James Gunn said Baby Groot will feature in it primarily. Oh, Primera, oh, okay then. And there's also going to be Ego the Living Planet, Not a Planet Guy. Oh, okay. Have you heard about that? Yeah, um, uh, in passing. Potential but, yes. spoiler here, guys. It was released by James Gunn. He said it at Comic-Con, but 
if you are not very happy, if you don't want to know anything about this movie, and skip to the next bit. But did Finn, you heard about Star Lord's dad? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, I heard about that. Star Lord's dad is James Gunn says is Ego the Living Planet. How does that work? I I don't I don't. It's dodgy, but. We'll just have to accept it. That is confusing, but I've got high hopes for this too. James Gunn did a great thing with Guardians. Yeah, I think I think it's I think he's got a legacy to live up to, and I think he will live up to it. Yeah. Um. Next up, we have Wonder Woman on June second. Now we've got a trailer for that. And Finn, what was your opinion on Wonder Woman? I think she's pretty badass, and I think that having a woman director as well will really help. Put a different spin on it. Yeah. Um, it will really sort of like, give a new take onto um. The DC universe. To the, or onto the character herself as well. Yeah. Um, just everything about it's just going to be revamped and reworked, and well, not reworked, just different different take on it, which I think will be good for the, what DC need. Yeah, the trailer looked really cool, and it was also written by Jeff Jones, partly written. Yeah, I know. So I think, I think DC are really starting to pick themselves up now in terms of movies and stuff. Yeah, the trailer looks amazing. Yeah. Next so. up, we've got one that's been highly hyped, hyped by Marvel, which is Spider-Man: Homecoming on July twenty-eighth. Um, I think this will get a massive reception, given that Spider-Man's coming home wow. to Marvel, and that his that we got a brief glimpse of him and what he's capable of in. Civil War. Yeah. I think this is just going to be massive. Yeah, I hope it's funny. I hope it's funny. It's got a bit more humorous than some of the other Marvel movies yeah. that we've had. Especially some like, like in contrast to Thor and those sort of movies as well. Yeah. Which is a nice segue into the next movie. On November the 3rd, Thor Ragnarok is coming out. Thor Ragnarok. Okay. I wouldn't, didn't think I was going to be excited for Thor Ragnarok. The Thor movies are probably the weakest link in the Marvel movies. I d- tend to disagree, actually. I think oh. Ragnarok's really good. No, I was saying the Thor, the previous two Thor movies are weak links in the Marvel movies. I think they're good, though. Oh, okay, then. Well. Okay, then. Just, dis- okay. What What didn't you like about them? Well, okay, I, I like them, but I think out of all the other Marvel movies, they're the least okay. good. Okay, then. They're still pretty good. Okay, then. Uh, so, but I am super excited for Thor Ragnarok. It looks so cool. Mm. It looks funny. It looks, uh, the set. Ragnarok, Thor Ragnarok is funny. Yeah, it looks funny. I don't think that's the right word to describe it, Have, but... The documentary, the documentary was hilarious, and that's the same director. I think it's going to be a good time. I think you're being a bit misled, Ben, by that mockumentary. No, no. In case you're, in case you're wondering, um, this is the mockumentary what Thor did during Civil War. I think it was more to it was more to like give the impression to the to the to the people that Thor's still there. Um, I just no, I don't think that. I think it's it's not. I don't think it's no, no. Well, okay then, sure. I don't think it's, I, th- I don't think it's gonna be funny. Um. Well, I will I... differ, and we'll find out on November 3rd. Okay, then. Game on. Okay. Next Well, because last... Ragnarok... Well, if you go back to what Ragnarok is itself, um, it is literally a series of future events leading up to the death and destruction of Asgard. Or a robot. So, copy of four. Well, that's what... In Norse mythology, it basically is the demise of... De- the demise of of um Asgard and whatnot. Sure. So I don't see how that can be funny and humorous. I still think. Oh, here's something. For, we'll we'll finish talk arguing about Thor Ragnarok. Here's one thing for everyone out there: Hulk is going to be in Thor Ragnarok, and he'll have a bits of Planet Hulk. Okay. Okay. Planet Hulk's mean. Yeah, I did a review of that on my channel. You guys can check it out. Mm. Uh, yeah. Next up. We've got a movie I am have been excited for for ages, Justice League, November seventeenth. Oh man, 
They've they've got a trailer out already, but I think it's it's just gonna be pretty. It's gonna be pretty massive. I loved that trailer. It looks super cool. I think that they've got a bit of work to do with in terms of plot and whatnot, but I think with Jeff Jones now, they can really lift themselves up. Yeah. And. Yeah. I'm definitely looking yeah, forward th- to the next trailer because that trailer was just they'd only be filming for a couple of weeks, you know, so it's just some footage that they've done and thrown together. Yeah. 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 So. I think that this will, I think it'll be pretty good. I'm definitely excited for Justice League. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Finn, who do you want, you know how there's going to be six main members, do you want there to be a seventh member? Green Lantern. Me too. Either Green Lantern or Martian Manhunter. Oh, now you mentioned Martian Manhunter. I, I'm really torn between them now. I love a Martian really Manhunter give, like, cameo. I love them, um, I think they'd both be amazing for... I mean, they're both amazing characters and stuff. I just think that Martian Manhunter won't give the diversity that, and it might that the, the the diversity that DC need, and also uh, it will also give them the option of expanding or uh, and um retrying what they tried uh, back in when was it? I can't even remember. I've just it was two thousand nine, two thousand eleven, yeah. actually. So hopefully, yeah. Uh, Green yeah, Lantern. Yeah, that, that that Green Lantern. I don't even want to think about it. Okay. Twenty eleven. No, twenty eleven. No, I just don't even want to think about it. Well, hopefully, Green Lantern and Martian Manhunter get introduced at least in Justice League two, which we'll talk about later. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, so next up, so there's, there's Justice League. Next up, we're into twenty eighteen now. We've got a lot we... less news on these because, well, they're in twenty eighteen. But we've, we've, well, as part of the news segment, we did get a, um, a bit of stuff on this first one. Black Panther, February the 6th. Okay. Let's talk about this. So we know Chadwick Boseman is Black Panther. We know that, um, I remember Creed, Finn? Creed? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael B. Jordan is playing the villain. Oh, mean. So, and it's got the same director as Creed. And Creed was a great movie. Oh, it's... Pretty much Rocky 1.5. Yeah. But, I mean, that didn't take away from it. I hadn't seen the Rockies previously to seeing that, so I thought it was really good. Yeah, we saw that together, um, and that was great. That was a meme. But um, I think now I've watched what Rocky. Uh, um, in hindsight, I think it's more of a homage. Yeah. But um, why are we talking about Creed and Rocky? And uh, we should get no, back um, on track. Black Panther. Back on track. Uh, Black Panther. I think that's going to be great. Um, Exploring the nation of Wakanda. Yeah. Um, Black Panther's just a mean character, and his addition to the Justice League is just going to be... The Avengers. No, if, what am I talking about? Um, uh, the Avengers is going to be mean. And apparently Winter Soldier will be in there too. Well, he's in he's in Wakanda at the moment, isn't he? Yeah. Getting, like, Cryo getting, like healed and stuff. Yeah. So, so we're both looking forward to that. Flash. Finn, are you looking forward to Flash March 23rd? I think this is going to be amazing. I really do. I just... Yeah. It's going to be so good. So we've got some uh, supposed I rumors think for Flash are the rogues. That's the... Rogues. That's probably... Topic. That's probably the one of the main... Yeah. Main main villains that we're going to... Run into. Yeah. I think. So, so... That'll be cool. I'd love to see some Captain Cold on the big screen. I think Captain Cold Cold really got like screwed over by the um Legend by the uh by the uh what's it called Legend the TV Smart. series yeah not not Legends of Tomorrow Legends of Tomorrow is just utter trash like Mirror Master Mirror oh he's pretty cool yeah he's pretty cool. um but I think that I think that if they give him like, like a comic book like I mean the TV series Flash like I mean they they gave him I think they get they had too much creative license I think they sort of ruined him a bit if they do have Rogue the rogues, and they have Captain Cold in this movie. I think they need to stick to the comic book one to really give it the impression that... Who does well, this? Yeah. Uh, like, I mean, it's a, bit te- it's a bit tenuous in the TV series. Like, I mean, he's he's pretty much got the Flash team to to credit for making his, what's it, his gun and whatever. Yeah. So, that's get into the one that has been what Marvel has been leading up to for decades. 
Avengers Infinity War Part 1. It's now just called Avengers Infinity War. Directed by the Russo brothers. Filming has started. It gets released on May 4th. What do you think of Avengers Infinity, Infinity War? It's just going to be absolutely massive. Um, it's going to be massive. It's, yeah. it's gonna, I think it's going to break everything. Um, Marvel's been leading up to it for, like, ever since Hulk came out. Um, yeah. It, no, it's just going to be over... It's just it, smash everything and... Yeah. It's going to smash absolutely everything. Yeah, that that's really cool. we got Thanos in that. The uh, Apparently... Who we've already seen before in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Do you reckon we'll see him in GOTT... G-O-T-G-2? Uh, James Gunn has said no Thanos at all. Okay, then. Um, a, another thing about Infinity War is it's got a $1 billion budget between the two movies. Half a million each. Half a billion each. That's decent. Yeah, but it's probably going towards paying Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> uh, what, about, what, what do you think about, though, in terms of Infinity War number two, Infinity War part two, Chris Evans' contract runs out before that. I think he'll just renew his contract. I'm thinking more about something happening to actual Captain America. A mantle pass? Not a... Maybe a man... Yeah, maybe. Do you think I mean, he'll die? Got, maybe. Possibly. Yeah, who knows? I mean, you've got... I mean, you've got, um, you've got two people he can pass the baton to. Um, he can pass it to Falcon, or he can pass it to... What's it? Uh, Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Both of them are very good, and I think that they would really provide a different sort of perspective on Captain America. Yeah. Who would you rather? Bucky. Mm. I think he's more more flawed. Yeah. And he would he he would be a bit more he would provide more contrast and a bit more diversity to the Captain America mantle. Okay, let's get on to the next movie. Ant-Man and the Wasp, July 6th. What do you think of that? Ant-Man was amazing. I loved Ant-Man. It was so funny. Ant-Man, I think the, it was Marvel tried to go in a new direction and really succeeded that going that way. Yeah. Michael, I mean, they couldn't have cast anyone else other than Michael Pena to do what he did. Yeah. And Paul Rudd was a great Ant-Man. Ant -Man. Paul, Paul Rudd was a great Ant-Man as well. Um. So, that's... Cool. I think that's going to be big, and then you're also going to have the Wasp as well. Yeah, I liked that relationship. I'd like to see that develop. Yeah. <laughs> Do you just want to see some more snogging? No. Uh, <laughs> next okay. up, we have a random Fox film. Trash. Probably Deadpool 2, though. Probably. And he's saying Maybe. Deadpool 2. Anything, el anything else? Any Deadpool 2 would be great. Anything else probably be pretty trash. I would actually love to watch another Deadpool. Deadpool was probably, I would say, my favourite superhero movie of the year. Of this year? Yeah. I would think so too. Um, maybe. It was hilarious. It was it was very good. Um, very well written and directed, and I really loved that the change up between flipping between past and present and whatnot. Uh, next up, let's get into Aquaman. Which oh, oh. let's get into this. What well, hands down, I think this is this is the guy that DC can really make money on. He's a not very well known superhero in terms of like compared to Batman, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Um, I think they can really do some good stuff with him, and he's got huge potential. Yeah, it is being directed by uh, who's the guy? You know, the horror film director. Look, look up. Just Aquaman. I'll remember his name. But uh, I'll just talk about okay. Aquaman for a bit. So I'm really looking forward to this. A lot of it will be filmed underwater, which is we don't really see that much in modern Hollywood movies. Yeah, um, which might be, might be a hint at more exploring Atlantis and stuff. So did you find the director? James Wan. Yes, I haven't seen much of James Wan's stuff, but I heard that he's really good. Oh, let me see what he's done. I think. Um. Uh, the Conjuring. Yeah. Fast and Furious Seven. Yep. Saw. Lights Out. Okay, these are all movies that 
I'm pretty sure Lights Out just came out and it got great critical reception. Oh, uh, I think it's also with The Conjuring 2 as well. Yeah. Furious, Fast and Furious 7. Um, so he's, what's, I think DC's uh, got a winner there. Yeah, uh, Annabelle, Dead Silence, De- Death Sentence, Insidious Chapter 2, Insidious Chapter 1, Insidious Chapter 3, Demonic, Saw, The Saw Trilogy, um, Dream Home. I think, yeah, like I said, so that... He's he's like a sort of death, dark, gloomy stuff. Yeah. So that might that might mean that Aquaman will be dark and gloomy and. Hopefully, uh, he'll be more. <laughs> I hope they do. Uh, what storyline would you like to adapt if they do one? Um, there's a. I mean, Throne of Atlantis would be probably ideal. Yeah, there's a lot of good it, new. There's a lot Marvel. of good things. If they wanted like an Aquaman solo movie, like not really involving the rest of the lineup, I wouldn't go for Throne of Atlantis. But what, seeing, um, what about the first? Uh, what about you know from the first volume of Aquaman they had the trench, the trench, maybe something like that. Yeah, yeah that that'd be pretty cool. So um, uh, apparently Ocean Master will appear in that. Okay, so, so all that would, that would, that would work well with the trench. Seeing as like they could tie him in with being the master of the trench and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, next um, up, uh, are you done talking with Aquaman or do you want to go to? Oh no, no, that's good. I could ramble on for days, but um. Okay. Uh, let's go on to the next one. DC film October fifth. This is probably going to be Batman solo movie. Probably. And I am so looking forward to that. Ben Affleck. A, a award-winning director directing a Batman movie with Jeff Jones ho- helping with de- with Deathstroke in it. That will be sound it's amazing. It's just going to be hands down pretty good. Yeah. Uh, let's get into the realm of unknown, the 2019s. Well, there is definitely two, three movies that we can absolutely count on, being Captain Marvel, Avengers Infinity War Part 2, and Justice League Part 2. Yes. Uh, or Justice League. Two. Let's talk about Captain Marvel first. What do you think of Captain Marvel? She's gonna, she's gonna really spice up the MCU, I think. First female-led superhero movie in the MCU. Uh, she like a, that that she'll just spice it up. She'll make some real. She'll do some good stuff and yeah. she'll really change it up. Yeah. Uh, that'll be cool. Brie Larson was cast as Captain Marvel lately, and they're looking for a female director. Uh, what do you think of that so, cast? So maybe, the, maybe the, I think she's going to be. She's got good potential. I think they're also going the same way that DC are going with Wonder Woman as well, adding that diversity and stuff. Yeah, and I think she'll be a main player in Marvel Phase Four. Yeah. Uh, next up, we've got another Captain Marvel, Shazam. Shazam. I think he's got huge potential as well, especially with involvement in the Justice League movie coming out later that year. Later that year, a couple of months out. Yeah. Afterwards. Dwayne Johnson will be the rock in that. Oh yeah. That's confirmed. Uh so I'm excited for Shazam. Isn't he going is he gonna be Black Adam or Oh I mean uh, yeah, Dwayne the Rock Johnson's gonna be Black Adam, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be cool. Yeah. I am really excited for Shazam. I like Shazam as a character. Yeah, I think he's he's got huge potential as well. Do you, do you, he'll um yeah, it's just going to be cool. Who do you want to be cast as Shazam? I well, depends if they're going for the boy. Okay, as the Shazam, Shazam. Shazam, Shazam. Um, there's a lot of different people. Um, uh, uh it could be any number of people. I think there's heaps of people. Um, I've got a dream casting. It's probably not going to happen because yep. we'll talk about it later. But I would love Shazam to be Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum? Yes. Okay, then. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's talk about the next one of the schedule, Avengers Infinity War Part 2, May 3rd. What do you think of that? Um, we've already sort of co- co- uh, covered what we what we thought about Avengers Infinity War Part 1. That's gonna be even, this one's going to be even bigger yeah. than the first one, and it's just going gonna, gonna to break. Yeah. Uh... So, not really much more to talk about this, but I think that the Avengers Infinity War Part 1 will be the actual Infinity War, and I think that Part 2 will be setting up Phase 4. 
I think so, yeah. Well, sort of like the art, uh, like maybe... Aftermath? They're, they're, no, well, sort of like, I think Avengers of Pity War Part 1 is going to be sort of Thanos, like, getting the gauntlet. So we'll end with him with a completed gauntlet. Yeah. The second one will be the, the Avengers actually, ba- the Avengers and what, whoever they, else they bring in, actually battling him. And then, um, just, then that'll be, then maybe towards the end... They'll like they'll beat him and then they'll then they'll start the aftermath and they'll lead into phase four and stuff. Sure. I don't know. They might like reset the multiverse or di- reset the universe or make there's like a multiverse or discover. I don't know. Let's talk about the next one, Justice League Part Two, June fourteenth. What do you want to happen to this? Well, I think they're already planning Dark Side for Justice League Part One. So, so another good. So another good one would be Brainiac or exactly something Exactly what like I was that. thinking. I would love a Brainiac Justice League Part 2. That would be amazing. Yeah. Um, personally, I would have probably had Brainiac as Justice League Part 1 and saved Darkseid for number 2. Yeah. But that's personal preference. I think they both work equally as well. Yeah, the Justice League have a lot of great villains. Yeah. Uh, so then after that, they have a just a DC film. This will probably be what? Man of Steel 2. Probably, yeah. Well, they've already confirmed that they're developing that, so... Uh, we talked about that quickly last week, but we'll just go over that. I'm pretty excited for that. Metallo would be a great villain. Yeah, definitely Metallo, and um, I think they really have free reign for that one. Yeah. Man of Steel was pretty good, and... Yep. Yeah. Uh, next up, let's go to the last year we're going to talk about, 2020. So... We've got, first up, Cyborg, April 3rd. What do you think about that? He's a very underrated character. Yeah. And I think, like like many of DC films, I'm starting to sound like a crack record here, um, he's got huge potential to be developed. Yeah. I think he could... I think it could be good. I think they have to find the right director. We don't really know anything about the story... So there's not much to comment. Well, he's already going to be in the um, Justice League and everything, so... We'll find out more about him then. Yeah, I think it'll st- it'll, it'll, lots of the details of the movie will be dependent on how the movie goes. Yeah. Uh, next up, we've just got a ma- Marvel film, May 1st. We've got no idea what that is, so we'll just skip it. Uh... Yeah, this will probably be the start of Phase... This will be the start of Phase 4. Yeah, probably. There's also two other... There's also two other Marvel films. July 10th. One, July 10th and November 6th. Yeah. And then, so, so, and the only other one in this year that we know of is going to be Green Lantern Corps. J- July 24th. I'm excited for Green Lantern Corps. Same. I think they can really make some difference. Yeah. But I think that um, since they're doing a Green Lantern Corps, I think they will have already introduced a, a Gre- Green Lantern. Yeah. So I think that so I think that either in some of the some of the earlier DC movies, some of the unnamed ones, or either or or the Justice Leagues, they'll introduce Green Lantern. Yeah, I think that uh, they'll probably have multiple Green Lanterns. So Hal Jordan, John Stewart, Guy Gardner, Carl Rayner. Yeah, and I'd also love to see just me, Mogo the Living Planet. You like those living planets, don't you, Ben? Yes, Mogo. I would love to see Mogo in it. And I would... This might be a bit out there, but uh, who do you want to be the villain? Oh, um... Green Lantern Corps have so many cool, like, different villains and stuff. I mean, I think Anti-Monitor would be good as well. Yeah. But then... But if they... They could, like, do a dark side war... Like as in with the comics and stuff. Yeah. They could do a dark side war, uh, dark side versus Mobius versus. Yeah. The Justice League sort of thing. I mean, they, I don't really know if they're gonna do that. There's They'll one. Bring... There's one villain I'd love to them to do, who is I love to do Blackest Night, but I think they'll save that for Justice League Three. I think Blackest oh Blackest Night. I think that's definitely a Justice League movie or at least a two part movie. Like yeah. covering, uh, there would be like a just a Justice League or and a Green Lantern, covering both two aspects of it, and they sort of like come together in the end or whatever. Yeah. Uh, next up, we've got DC film October second. We don't know what this is. I've got no idea what this could be. Maybe Justice League Dark, Lobo, maybe. 
Who knows? Like, Harley well, Quinn? Mate, well, they've, thought, they've been thinking about Harley Quinn, haven't they? So Suicide Squad 2? Who knows? Mm. Um, so that's it for the movies. There's lots more movies. There's movies planned for 2021. There's movies, heaps of movies on the table. But... Like such as Inhumans, Black Widow, Fantastic Four, 2, Deadpool 2, New Mutants, Gambit, X-Force, X- 90s X-Men, Mystique, Lobo, JL, Dark, Blue and Gold, Suicide Squad 2, Man of Steel 2, uh, Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey, Boomerang, Joker. So as you can see, there's lots, but uh, we, we can't really chat about those because there's just too many. So we'll probably end there. I hope you enjoyed that section of the, um, the podcast where we talked about all the upcoming movies. I hope you learned something. So now... Let's now we've done our main content. Let's talk about our famous segment. What have we? So let's talk about our famous segment this week in comics. Okay, Finn. What have you been reading slash watching this week? Nothing. Ah, uh, okay. Another week of nothing. So yep. I will have to carry again. And I have been reading Avengers Millennium. It's by Mike Costo and some guy named Kamini D. Gazadoma. And it's about the Avengers going through time. Okay. So what did you think of it? Oh, it was all right. It was quite cool seeing the Avengers all throughout time, fighting dinosaurs and stuff. Oh, okay. So, okay, cool. Yeah. And so it's not, I don't really have much on that. The art was just normal comic book art. Um, but one thing I have been listening, and I recommend you do it too, is I've been listening to another podcast called Stuff You Should Know. Okay. What do you? What does they talk about? Stuff you should know. Exactly what they talk about. It's got uh, their hosts are Chuck Bryan and Josh Clark, and they're really funny, and they talk about uh, just stuff you should know. Okay, so like general knowledge and just anything and everything. Yeah, obviously not what movies are coming out from 2016 to 2020 because we've covered that, and no one can do it better. But they talk about other stuff. Okay then. Cool. So, that that's I'd recommend you listen to that. Very okay then. So that's that, it for the podcast. That's then. it for the, this for the podcast. Um, just another quick thing. If you do play Marvel Contest of Champions, um, which is a iOS Android game, um, uh, we we uh me and Ben are looking for members new uh, members to join our alliance. F ship of ring. Uh, we're looking for good active members that are willing to get get those four star rewards. Four star shard rewards and stuff like summoner advancement, alliance quest, alliance wars. Um, yeah. Uh, so if you want, to join us. F ship of ring. F apostrophe ship of ring. My name's Ragnarok seven three seven, and Ben is Lego Anator. Yeah. So I'll plug the rest of the stuff if you guys want to find us. You can find us at our home on the web, Le- Lego Anator Comics Support on YouTube. We, I do I do videos there and me and Finn, of course, do podcasts there. Then you can find me at Lego Learner Comics on Facebook, Lego Learner at Lego Learner underscore CM on Twitter. And that's it. Okay, guys. See you next time. Lego Learner out. Bye. See ya. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that episode of The Super Gurus. Just to re-emphasize, if you guys want to find us, you can find us at Lego Nader Comics and World on YouTube, Lego Nader Comics and World on Facebook, and Lego Nader at Lego Nader underscore CM on Twitter. Okay, like, subscribe, and comment. See you next week for another episode of The Super Gurus. Bye.